Okay, so we have a quick update to do actually. I left this line of code out in the last video. I had a feeling something was missing and I'll show you where this comes from. If we go to the nested resources in the CanCan documentation, they talk about this nested through method and the most common way is to load an authorized resource through the current user. And so this is where I'm getting this from. So I just copied from here, just the way it is, nothing's been changed, and I just pasted it into comments controller, okay? So I'm in the comments controller, and here's that line of code. I have updated the PDF in the last video, so this is present, and so you should be good to go. Let's move on to our views. Let's check out the show page. So I'm going to go into articles and then the show page. So under views, the articles folder, then the show page here. And here's our buttons, right? Here's the back button, the edit, and the delete article button down at the bottom of this file. If we take a look at our site, we can click on this user, roll down, and these are the buttons down at the bottom of the page that we're going to affect right now. Because we don't want user number one, we're logged in as user one. So if you're not logged in as user one, then log out, log back in as user one, and take a look at your second user article that we created. And these buttons shouldn't be here because we don't own this article. So let's step back in our IDE and let's take care of that. So the buttons that we're looking to affect are just the second buttons here, the second two. We're not concerned with the back button because that's just a navigation button. Right in here we're going to put less than percent if can question mark colon update comma I'm just going to move the mouse up there. And then we want to say add article. Just like that. And where we're getting this from is this is the local variable that we're using here, right? You can see add article, then down here add article, right? I'm down here on the delete button. And then we want to close that off with the percent greater than symbol. And I'm just going to copy this. And we're also going to put it down here just above the delete. But above the delete, we don't want to use the update because we've also created that delete ability or destroy ability in our ability.rb file. So here we can say destroy. Just like so. And then underneath both buttons, we have to put an end. So I'm going to say less than percent end, percent greater than, and then we can just copy this. And then right above this edit article button, so just after this pipe here that we got outside, we can go down like so, just paste in the end like that. So this now is wrapped in that if can update at article. So this button and then end and then if can destroy at article and then the end. Let's go back now and refresh our page. There we go. We can see now that those buttons have disappeared which is a good thing because we don't own this article. So we don't want to show these buttons to the user of course. The only thing I don't really like is this pipe here. So we can get rid of that too by basically we just delete the pipe here and then just put it after the first bit of if can code here. I'll show you. I'm just going to put the pipe in there. And if we go back now, the pipe is gone. So it just cleans up the page a bit. Let's do this. Again, we're logged in as user number one. Let's create an article as user one. So go back to your home page and create a new article. And I'm just going to call it user one. And here's the user one article. 
as you can see we do own this article so we can see these buttons and we're going to post a comment I'm just going to say comment and there's our comment here's our buttons with our pipes back as you can see separating the buttons so that's cool so let's go back now and do the same thing to our comments so I'm just going to copy this if can code here and I'm in the comments partial which is in the views okay the comments folder and the underscore comment.html.erb file which is the comment partial down at the bottom here that shows those two buttons the edit and the delete button so up here we're going to paste in if can update add article and down here above this button we're going to do the same thing and then we've got to put our end tag in like so here and I'll copy that okay so that should be good there's just a couple of changes we gotta make though because here we're not at article right just take a look at this code here everything here is just comment so we can copy that and without the at symbol just put there comment same thing for this second button and the next thing we got to update is this update this shouldn't say update this should say destroy and remember again these were defined in our ability.rb in our models folder so let's check this out now go to the home page and let's take a look at this user 2 article and already you can see that this comment that was made by user 2 the buttons are missing that's just what we want this is perfect and also the edit and destroy buttons are missing for deleting or editing this article so pretty cool alright we'll see you here coming up next